it was another emotional night as loved ones came together to remember the three teenagers killed on their way to a soccer tournament nearly two weeks ago. Now the woman accused of running them over also made her first appearance in court today. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live at the jail in West Miami Dade where that woman remains in custody tonight. Hank. Well, the journey towards justice for that woman began today. Meanwhile, in Little Haiti, a big memorial service for those young men who passed away. Here's the story. Dealing with the grief, a very public acknowledgement that the deaths of three young soccer players has rocked little Haiti's soccer community. The loss of these boys is a pain that is felt by your entire community. Whether young or old, black or white, Haitian or not, their deaths trigger a deep pain and sorrow felt by the entire community. This crowd remembering Ricard Dume, Gudav Desir and Lynn's Desir all died Saturday, May 25th, early morning, run down by a driver charged with DUI and driving on a suspended license. They're on their way to meet a team bus to play in a major soccer tournament. Their dreams of soccer stardom erased in a heartbeat. And the fact that you know an irresponsible act can uh, erase uh, so much uh, potential. So this night, the community turned out to remember the three youngsters. Earlier in the day, the person police say caused the deaths, now out of the hospital and in bond court. 31-year-old Miriam Koulibaly, who has a lengthy record of driving infractions, is in huge trouble. Vehicular homicide in a reckless manner, driving under the influence, manslaughter, and um, another count of vehicular homicide. The state throwing the book at the defendant. The officers and I had the horrible task of visiting these kids' families. They all came here from Haiti to give their children a better life. Their kids were trying to pursue that, and she wiped it all out. Well, the bond set at $300,000. If she does get out of jail, she'll be in house arrest. As you said, she remains in jail tonight. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you.